Hey guys, it's Sammy and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So last night at the AEW Double or Nothing Ticket Party press conference, we did learn that Kenny Omega has officially signed with AEW. Kenny Omega will serve as an All Elite Wrestling Executive Vice President, and then after the show last night, after the press conference, he did an interview with Dave Meltzer, and he dished on some of the things as far as what he will be doing with All Elite Wrestling. So first off, Kenny Omega did state that he has signed a four-year deal. This is the longest contract that he has ever signed in his entire wrestling career. And this falls right in the middle of some of the other deals we've heard. Cody and the Bucks reportedly signed a five-year deal, where Chris Jericho only signed a three-year deal. With this four-year deal, it is an almost exclusive deal for Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, just like Chris Jericho, did get put into his contract that if he wants, he can go back to Japan and work shows for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Also, Kenny Omega did state that he had it put in his contract that he can do almost basically anything he wants outside of professional wrestling. He did state that he will be doing a lot with esports. He will be dabbling in some acting and doing some things, possibly the esports things, with ESPN and more. He was asked about maybe being a tag team in All Elite Wrestling with Kota Ibushi and doing the Golden Lovers, and he said he would love that. He said that he would also love that when he relocates here to the United States, that Ibushi could come be his roommate, but as of right now, it's actually not possible. He said that many people don't know, but Kota Ibushi actually runs his own wrestling school in Japan and have a lot of commitments that go with running that school that will keep him tied up over there. He then went on to state that one of his goals is to get Kota Ibushi to come work matches for AEW, but that's somewhere down the line, possibly soon, but maybe not as soon as even double or nothing. Kenny would then also go on to talk about his role as an executive vice president. He stated that he's already been scouting talent, even before he signed his contract with AEW and still had offers on the table from other companies that he was considering. He stated that he was already looking at some talent that AEW could possibly sign, and some of those were the female talents that they're looking at from Japan. Now talking about Kenny Omega almost not signing with AEW, he said he had three very good offers on the table. One from AEW, one from the WWE, and one to stay with New Japan Pro Wrestling. He stated that as far as the creative side of all these deals went, the least creative one actually may have been the New Japan Pro Wrestling deal. He went on to state that WWE was very professional in the way that they negotiated with him. He said that some people had reached out and stated, hey, just be warned that they may act like A, B, and C towards you when they're trying to pitch ideas and sign you to their company. And Kenny said that they didn't act like that towards him at all, that everything went smooth, everything went very professional, and it was just the right choice for him to pick All Elite Wrestling. As he also said last night at the press conference, he did not sign his contract with All Elite Wrestling until yesterday morning. So with that, Kenny Omega is now an executive vice president of All Elite Wrestling. Also, Kenny Omega did state that he's got some time off now because Double or Nothing is not till May. In that time off, he's obviously going to get himself back into better shape than he was once in just a couple months ago. But he's also going to do more as far as video games and esports. We do know that Kenny Omega is sponsored by Razer. They're a company that makes many accessories for esports and gaming like controllers, keyboards, headsets, microphones, etc. And Kenny Omega really wants to help grow the esports community, not just here in America, not just in Japan, but all over as wide as he can grow it. So Kenny Omega does have some goals as far as what he wants to do with All Elite Wrestling and what he wants to do outside of All Elite Wrestling. Kenny Omega also stated that as an executive vice president, one thing that he's the most excited about is being able to create storylines for other people. He said creating storylines and doing stuff like they have been doing on being the elite to get other people over is almost more exciting to him than trying to book his own matches. And he says that the Jacksons, the Young Bucks, actually feel the same way, that they love writing storylines and figuring things out for other people but at the same time, they know that they got to give those other people some creative freedom as well. So if we do hear anything else on Kenny Omega being an executive vice president in All Elite Wrestling, his plans for All Elite Wrestling, what he wants to see out of the company and more, we'll have it for you right here 
on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, subscribe here on YouTube, and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.